Good morning. Uh, my name is Tom McLeish. I'm a professor of physics at Durham and also a theologically trained reader in the Anglican Church. I've been reflecting on science and theology and the relation between them for a number of years now, um, which led to a book, Faith and Wisdom in Science, um, with OUP 2014, that seeks to explore um, what I call a cultural narrative for science. What has science done throughout the cultural history of humankind? So what do I mean by a theology of science? After all, um, debates in the science religion arena are normally discussing the differences, the oppositions, the conflicts between theology and science. Well, I think that's where the discussion has taken a mistaken road. For within the a theological mindset, the conflict or reconciliation between theology and science is really not the most important question. Far more fruitful is the question of what is science for theologically? What does science perform within the kingdom of God? And where will we go for that? Well, uh, turning to biblical sources, there is a mass of tradition in wisdom, history, prophet, and New Testament alike that we can mine to ask that sort of question, providing we understand science, for that word of course is not a biblical word, um, as uh, the negotiation of a relationship of understanding between human beings and the natural world. And where I see the root of a theology of science, the material with which we begin, uh, is in the wisdom tradition. Clue for that, of course, is in the old name for science. Two centuries ago, I, or you if you're a scientist, wouldn't be called scientists. We'd be called natural philosophers, lovers of wisdom to do with natural things. And that sets a rather different perspective, doesn't it, on how we might frame science. And of course, the Bible contains a whole story, if you like, a biography of wisdom. Um, begins, actually, when wisdom was a little child. She, Sophia, is described at the beginning of the book of Proverbs, um, perhaps the heart of the wisdom literature corpus, um, as a girl, a little girl, playing at the creator's feet, really, with the, new, uh, the newness of, of creation. Just, just, think, just listen to this from, from Proverbs 8. The Lord brought me forth as the first of his works. Before his deeds of old, I was appointed from eternity. When there were no oceans, I was given birth. When there were no springs abounding with water, before the mountains were settled in place, before the hills, I was given birth. And later, uh, in the poem in Proverbs 8, when he, Yahweh, marked out the foundations of the earth, when he gave the sea its boundaries so the waters would not overstep his command, there I was the craftsman at his side, filled with delight day by day, rejoicing in his presence, rejoicing in the whole world and delighting in mankind. So there's wisdom at the heart of the fabrication of the material world. That's going to be our starting point.